The frogfish tank consists of a all-in-one 20 gallon long with a homemade sump system in the back. It has bio pellets running in the center. It has a nitrate absorption pad and some bio media in the first chamber and an all auto top off and a heater and a return pump in the third chamber. It has a seaclone skimmer that needs to be replaced or cleaned actually um, when you see it dirty. So you just take the cup off, bring it to the sink, wash the cup out. So in the sink basically just flush it out. Dump out the skimmate. Make sure the cup is clean. Just wipe it out with the sponge. The cleaner it is, the, the more efficient the skimmer works. a sponge is a lot better but basically just making sure the center tube is clean and the cap is clean and just return this to the tank so once in the back to the tank just place it back on top and you're all set and then the only other thing is making sure the overflow is clear. Uh, what you can do is just use the toothbrush that I have sitting on the side over here and just kind of like brush off any material there that's blocking it. And then also double check to make sure the auto top off the reservoir, which is like a little two and a half gallon bucket here is full with RO water. If not, uh, we can just refill it on my uh, RO system. And other than that, pretty much good to go. And uh, clean the glass with the little mag float of any algae. And uh, just feeding this guy is uh, twice a week, uh, either with the fresh uh, the saltwater shrimp or some frozen, which uh, it took some krill today, and uh, or some uh, damsels uh, every once in a while.